is the Vikings and Sardis coming up this afternoon from Valley Park on the campus of Jasper High School. And it should be a great ball game for you. The Vikings are 8-4 and four under Coach Pat Ware, and they are winners of eight out of their last nine games. They defeated Dora on Friday 6-3, to three, and uh, the Sardis Lions into to, uh, this afternoon's ball game with a 7-5 record. They have won six out of their last seven. They defeated Southside 6-5 to five on Friday. They compete in 5A Area 13. Once again, a beautiful afternoon for baseball. We are going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have the opening pitch. That's after this 30-second break. You're tuned to Viking Baseball on WJLX. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting off, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. And welcome back. We are live on WJLX, presented by Pinnacle Bank. It is the Vikings and Sardis here this afternoon from Valley Park. There's a 1-1 count now. Pitcher on the mound is Morrison this afternoon. Seems like he's been pitching every time we've been here at the ballpark. Beautiful afternoon. May have some rain tomorrow. That's the reason why we really wanted to get this game in today. So, the 2-1 coming up. Wind and a chopper over to Sargent. He will field the throw over to Dawkins for out number one. Great job that time for the first out. By the way, JV just wrapped up about 30 minutes ago. They won 11-3 in three innings. And up next now is Trey Thornton for Sardis. There's the ball, 1-0. and Morrison with a line, deliver, and it's a swing and a miss for strike one. One and one, the count to Trey Thornton. He is the left fielder for Sardis. Here's one, taken low, two and one the count. Morrison eyes in, two one. Swung on and hit. And to right, Clark is there. He gets underneath it for out number two. Great job that time by Clark. Two, that brings up number 12, two away. Gilliland. And that brings up Carson Gilliland. Gilliland, a big kid. This one's hit sharply into shallow center. And it'll fall in for a base hit. So Gilliland is on base with two away. And now up to uh, bat is Brody Samples. Samples playing second base for Sardis. The Lions into town. Once again, we are scheduled for a game tomorrow against Haleyville. But we don't know if we'll have that for you or not. May move that to Wednesday, from what I'm told, so we'll see. Samples will step in. He's a pretty good ball player, pretty good pitcher as well. Samples with 31 strikeouts on the season. He is not on the mound, though, this afternoon for... The Lions. The 0-1 from Morrison. It's in the dirt. 
evens up one and one. Two away here in the top of the second inning, or excuse me, first inning. Runner takes his lead at first, that is Gilliland. The throw over to first. Not in time. Dawkins over there, the first baseman. The 1 1 coming up. Morrison. In there for a strike, one and two. Trying to get out of the inning here. We'll check your Viking starting lineups here in just a few minutes. Viking baseball presented by Pinnacle Bank and Jasper. Swung on and hit over to Payne, and he's not going to be able to field it. And runners will advance a single for samples. Gilliland to second. And now Russ Wiggs will be your batter with two away. And runners at first and second. Morrison looking in. This one's going to be high for a ball, one at home. Decent crowd here on a uh, Monday afternoon. The um, well, it was a beautiful day earlier today. Going to cool off here at game time and into the game. We'll be in the 50s tonight. There's one low, 2 and 0 now. Runners at first and second with two away. Wiggs, your batter. Morrison delivers. This one's low, gonna get away from Elmore. Hey, let's go, settle down. And runners will advance to second and third. So the count is now 3-0 and to Wiggs with runners at second and third. But still two away, so we can work out of this jam here. Morrison eyes in. Delivers the 3-0. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Vikings have been playing well. Mentioned in the opening. 1-8 out of their last nine ball games. Defeated Dora on Friday, nine, excuse me, six to three. Here's one in for a strike. Now we're full, three and two. Payoff pitch coming up from Morrison. Eyes in, delivers. The ball is going to get away from Morrison. One run will score. And we have runners on the corners. Runners on the corners now. And one to nothing. Here's a strike from Morrison on one. Runners on the corners, like we mentioned. One nothing, Sardis on top. This is a formidable opponent for sure. The Lions are seven and five on the season, but winners of six out of their last seven. Five A squad from Etowah County. Here's oh, they're gonna Try to chase down the runner here. The throw to first in time. No. They call him safe. Thought Dawkins was going to be able to tag him out, but no. As they caught the runner between first and second. The Vikings try to tag out at first, but no. The runner safely back to first is Russ Wiggs.
Comes the 0-1. And slow for a ball, 1-1. One and one. Morrison looks over toward first. The 1-1 one, one showing bunt, and it's going to go foul. So that'll be strike two, one and two, the count. Excuse me, two nothing your score, I should say. As both runners did score. You have a runner at first with two away. Runners going. This one's popped up. Heading toward Cachopio. But it looks like Payne's going to be there to get it for out number three. So the damage has been done, however. 2 nothing. your score. And uh, the Vikings trail. We're going to the bottom of the first. We'll be back with more Viking baseball after this 90-second timeout. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Martin Roberts, owner of Jasper Veterinary Clinic. Three years ago when I set out to open my own clinic, Pinnacle was my bank of choice to help that dream become a reality. Recently when we needed to expand and had the opportunity to acquire property adjoining to ours, I made one call to Wayne and he set those wheels in motion. If you have banking needs, give Pinnacle a call. Hello everyone, I'm Drake McKenzie from All South Land and Timber. We've been banking with Pinnacle Bank for over 25 years. The customer service at Pinnacle Bank is first class. We highly recommend banking with Pinnacle Bank for all of your financial needs. I'm Robin Reed Allen, Chairman of the Board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. And we welcome you back to Valley Park, bottom of the first, and the Vikings looking to do a little damage of their own here in the bottom of the first, down two nothing. Aiden Payne will lead things off for the Vikings. Payne, of course, a senior. And he plays uh, shortstop. This one swung on and hit high and heading over toward the third baseman who tracks it down for out number one. Whit Riggs was there. So one up, one down, go the Vikings. And here comes Aiden McGinnis now. McGinnis batting left. Facing Gilliland, who's on the mound here this evening. Vikings in a hole early in the ball game. This one goes high and outside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. On deck for the Vikings, you have Elmore, the catcher. 1-0, oh, swung on, hit sharply, foul. Evens up the count now, one ball and one strike to McGinnis. One one coming up. Gilliland eyes in, winds, delivers high, and over the head of Tarvin, the catcher, way over the head. <laughs> For a ball, it's two and one. Cracks a smile from Gilliland just a bit. That one got away from him. Two 
2 1. That one's outside for a ball. Three and one the count. Three one. This one's hit sharply. McGinnis will get in for a single here. So a runner on with one away. Great job by McGinnis. And here comes Connor Elmore to the plate. Vikings trying to pick up those two runs that they let go here. Top half of the first inning. McGinnis takes his lead at first. The throw over. Not in time, but close. Gilliland goes high over his the catcher's head again. McGinnis will advance to second. With one away, a runner on at second. Elmore at the plate awaiting the 1-0 pitch coming up from Gilliland. Have Gilliland on the mound. Tarbin is behind the plate. Weems at first. Samples at second. Wiggs at third. Glass is at short. Thornton's in left. Carroll's at center. And Martin is in right field. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One and one the count. So the 1-1 one, one coming up with one away. McGinnis takes his lead at second. Gilliland. Eyes in. Swung on. Here's a chopper. Heading back over toward the pitcher. Gilliland fields. Throws over to first for round number two. And McGinnis will hold off at second base up to the band now up to the plate is Spencer Rosenfeld see what Spence can do here with two away Gilliland oh hits him right in the back and Rosenfeld will take a base Runners at first and second down as Gilliland has uh, proved to be a little wild here on the mound here this afternoon with a couple of um, a couple of pitches going way over the head of the catcher. This one catching Rosenfeld in the back. And here comes Cachopio up to the plate. See what Cachopio can do with runners at first and second and two away. Gilliland eyes over towards second, the throw. Here's a strike. Oh, and one the count. Oh, one coming up to Cachopio. Morrison is on deck. Sardis leading it two to nothing. Here's the throw as they try to steal third, and that is going to be out at uh, third. So that's the end of the first. The Vikings leave two stranded. We'll be back after this 90-second timeout. Looking for a taste of Old Mexico? Stop and see the Pedraza family and the friendly staff at Los Reyes Grill with two locations in Walker County on the square in historic downtown Jasper and Highway 78 in Summerton. Serving your favorite authentic Mexican cuisine seven days a week. Call ahead for your to-go orders in Jasper phone 387-0086 or Summerton at 648-2600. Los Reyes Grill, Jasper and Summerton. 
Hello, my name is Ike Baker. I'm a surgeon here in Jasper. Um, I've been using Pinnacle Bank since I came here after residency, and I've really enjoyed the uh, local decision making here and have enjoyed our relationship. I'm Mike Wigginton, principal at HL Wigginton Capital Management, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. Hi, I'm Drew Gilbert, managing partner at Tallulah Brewing Company, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Dr. Amanda Darty, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, chairman of the board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. And we welcome you back to Valley Park. We're in the top of the second, two nothing. Your scores, Weems at the plate now. Facing it 0-1, and quickly at 0-2 as Morris is going to work on the mound. Weems, Tarvin, and Glass. Your three, here's one. Drilled into the gap over into right field. Clark will field and throw, but uh, safely goes the runner. Weems, so a single for him, and Tarvin is up down to the plate for Sardis. Wants to get a very good 5A club. They compete in area 13, leading that area as well. Runner takes the lead. Weems does it first. Morrison looks in to Derek Tarvin. This one sells in for a ball, 1 0. 2 0, your score. Alliance on top. Vikings could be back in action tomorrow against Haleyville, weather permitting. It's supposed to be a rather wet day tomorrow. So, don't know if we'll get that game in tomorrow or not. Beautiful evening, though. Tonight, here's the throw back over to first, and Dawkins, not in time. Weems gets back to the bag in time. And the 2-0 coming up from Morrison. Weems, here's the chopper. Going to go foul, third baseline. Two to nothing. Sardis leads with a runner at first and nobody out. Derek Tarvin awaiting the 2-1. Morrison throws back over to first. Not in time. Dawkins there. You have Morrison on the mound at Elmore behind the plate. Dawkins at first. Sargent is at second. McGinnis is at third. Payne is at short. Cachopio in left field, Rosenfeld in center, and Clark in right. And Morrison delivers another ball. It's three and one. Let's go. Ryder takes his lead. The pitch. There's in for a strike. Three and two. Full count. Payoff coming up. Sun beaming down here as it'll be setting here in about 30 minutes or so with the time change. The payoff pitch. Swung on, hit over to Payne at short. The throw over to second in time. Couldn't turn the double, but out number one of the inning. Great job by Payne there and short. So Tarbin grounds out and that brings up Ty Glass. Bottom of the order here. Glass taking his time here. Now he'll step in. We're in the top of the second here. 
One away. With a runner at first. This one's in for a strike. 0 and 1. Red Valley Park, if you're looking for something to do, come on out and join us. Here's one chopped over to third. McGinnis is there. The throw over to Dawkins in time for out number two. Runner advances over to second, but two away here. And we go to the top of the order, Landon Carroll, here in the second inning. Grounded out his first time up. See what he can do here with a runner at second and two away. Weems takes his lead over at second. Morrison with the delivery. Hi, this one's going to be fouled back. Into the parking lot for a strike. 0 and 1. Morrison with the 0-1 coming up. Swung on, hit sharply into the gap in the right center. He slows up at third. Weems will score the runners going to third. It's cut off, and it's a triple and an RBI, and it's 3-0. Wow. So, Trey Thornton will come up. He fly it out. His first time up. 3 nothing. Sardis on top here. The Vikings at Valley Park. Morrison with a runner at third. Swung on. Chopper. Going to go over to Sargent. Throws over to first. In time for the third out. But another run has scored. And it's 3 nothing. your score now. Sardis on top. We'll take a 90-second break. Be back with more in just a moment. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. Hi, I'm Mason Boren with Twisted Barley Brewing Company in downtown Jasper, and I do all my banking with Pinnacle Bank. Hi, my name is Sean Doss from the Cigar Box and Goatee Screen Printing downtown Jasper, and my bank is Pinnacle Bank. I'm Mike Wigington, Principal at HL Wigington Capital Management, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, Chairman of the Board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. Cachopio will lead things off for the Vikings here in the bottom half of the second inning. We welcome you back. The Vikings, of course, down 3-0 here in the bottom of the second inning. Viking baseball presented by Pinnacle Bank in Jasper. The 0-1 coming up from Gilliland. High, 1-1. One Chopio, the left fielder, swung on and hit hard in the left, underneath it, 
is Thornton for out number one. He hit that one hard, but one away. Tyler Morrison is up now for the Vikings. Let's see what Tyler can do here at the plate. Vikings is needing some offense here in the bottom of the second. Dawkins is on deck. There's the first ball. 1 0 the count. Gelliland eyes in. Wines delivers. Ooh, and I think he almost hit Morrison that time. 2 0 pitch coming up. I thought he had hit Morrison, but no, just barely got by him. There's another ball, 3 and 0. Oh. So now Gilliland way behind on the count. Gilliland eyes in. The 3 0 -oh pitch. Going to take a strike, 3 and 1. One, one away here in the bottom of the second. This one is swung on and hit sharply into left, and it's gone. Morrison goes yard, and it's three to one. Morrison delivers just when the Vikings needed some offense. There it is. One nothing, your, or excuse me, three one your score. But the Vikings are on the board here. <laughs> what a shot to left. My goodness. And here comes Dawkins. He's up. He's going to take a big cut, and it will go foul. That brought the crowd to life for sure as Morrison goes yard into left. Gelliland. The 0 1 pitch. This one is low. 1 and 1 the count. Gilliland. There's a strike to Dawkins. One and two, the count. Be nice if Dawkins could duplicate. Ooh, this one swung on and hit sharply, and it's going to be fair. Down the third baseline, Dawkins will hold it first, but a single for Doc. As he hit it sharply in the left to Thornton, and it hugged the line. And that'll bring up Luke Clark now. Tying run at the plate with only one away. Dawkins takes his lead at first. Bikes down 3-1. Clark swing, and he will tip this one foul. 0-1 oh, the count. Sergeant will be on deck. Gilliland eyes in. Swing and a miss for strike two. Dawkins at first with one away. He Gilliland eyes over toward Doc. And now will deliver. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Second out. And the first strikeout of the game for Gilliland. And here comes Cole Sargent to the plate. Let's see what Cole can do here with two away. Sergeant awaits. Gilliland delivers. 
Swung on, fouled back into the netting, 0-1-1. If you're just joining us, Sardis with two runs in the top of the first, one in the top of the second, and Morrison with a home run just moments ago to make it 3-1. to one. There's a strike called 0-2. If we can get Sargent on base, we'll go back to the top of the order here. This one swung on and hit. And that's going to fall in for a single. So Sargent with a single. Dawkins will advance to second. And Aiden Payne will be at the plate now. Back to the top of the order here. Payne flied out. Back of the first. Two away. With runners at first and second, tying run standing at first. Payne awaits. Gilliland eyes in. Trying to get out of the inning. This one's going to be outside for a ball. 1 0 the count. One zero coming up to Payne. Gilliland delivers high. This one gets away from the catcher. Dawkins will go to third, and he will be there safely. Runners advance to second and third. As the pitch gets away from Tarvin, the catcher. Two zero count now to Payne. Two away here in the bottom of the second, though. Gilliland with a two zero pitch. This one's lower in the dirt. Ball three. So the Vikings in. Pretty good position here, but still two away here in the bottom of the second. This one's in for a strike. Caught Payne looking. Three and one the count. Three one delivery. And he's going to walk Payne. Bases are loaded for McGinnis. McGinnis already one for one this afternoon. He singled in the first inning. Bases are loaded. Vikings with a great opportunity here in the second. Let's see if they can take advantage. This one's in for a ball. 1 0. On deck is Elmore. Duncan standing over at third. We have the bases loaded here. 1 0 coming up to McGinnis as Gilliland takes his time on the mound. Eyes in. And the throw over to third, and Dawkins. Not in time, of course. 1-0, swung on, found back. <clears throat> That'll even up the count now, one ball, one strike. To Aiden McGinnis. Young man, the third baseman. He's a senior. The 1-1. One, one. There's another ball high, 2-1. and one. Here we go, six. Yes, 
Dawkins at third, Sargent at second, Payne at first. The bases are loaded. Vikings trail 3-1 here in the bottom of the second. The delivery. Tried to check his swing, but fouls it off. Two and two the count to McGinnis. Vikings don't need to squander this golden opportunity here with the bases loaded. Trying to add some more runs onto the scoreboard. That would be nice, but we're still early in this game. From Valley Park in Jasper. Sun will be setting here in about 15, well, 10 minutes or so. Under the lights, this one's going to be low. Nice job by the catcher, Tarvin, for trapping that one. And now we have a full count. It's three and two. So Gilliland is either going to get out of the inning or another run will cross that plate. Payoff pitch coming up to Gilliland, to McGinnis. Runners, this one is low. And here comes Big Dawkins going to trot across the plate. The bases are loaded. It's 3-2 as they walk McGinnis. Here comes Connor Elmore to the plate. Elmore, 0 for 1 on the afternoon. He grounded out. Last inning. Two away here in the bottom of the second. This one's in for a strike. 0 and 1. He signaled a strike. And this one's swung on. This one's hit in the right. Martin is there, though, to make the catch for out number three. But the Vikings able to get two across the plate. And we're heading to the top of the third. We'll be back with more Viking baseball presented by Pinnacle Bank in just a moment. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. Looking for a taste of Old Mexico? Stop and see the Pedraza family and the friendly staff at Los Reyes Grill with two locations in Walker County on the square in historic downtown Jasper and Highway 78 in Summerton. Serving your favorite authentic Mexican cuisine seven days a week. Call ahead for your to-go orders in Jasper phone 387-0086 or Summerton at 648-2600. Los Reyes Grill, Jasper and Summerton. Hello, my name is Ike Baker. I'm a surgeon here in Jasper. Um, I've been using Pinnacle Bank since I came here after residency, and I've really enjoyed the uh, local decision-making here and have enjoyed our relationship. I'm Mike Wigington, principal at HL Wigington Capital Management, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. Hi, I'm Drew Gilbert, managing partner at Tallulah Brewing Company, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Dr. Amanda Darty, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, chairman of the board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank, too. Pinnacle Bank proudly presents Viking Baseball here with the top of the third and the 1-1 coming up. As this is um, Gelliland here. The pitcher at the plate. This one is swung on. This one's hit over to Payne. He fields the throw to first in time for out number one. One up, one down. Brody Samples going to be up. He's one for one this afternoon with a single in the first. Are you sure 
Good ball game here this afternoon. It's 3-2. to two. Sardis on top of the Vikings. There's a strike from Morrison. Vikings going to have a fairly busy week this week with games. Scheduled to play Haleyville tomorrow. We'll see whether depending. This one is going to go foul. 0-2 oh, the countdown. Two samples. Morrison delivers. This one is fouled back. Count remains. No balls. Two strikes. One away here, top of the third. Sardis by a run. 3 2. This one's going to be inside for a ball. One and two the count. <laughs> one, two pitch, going to hit him. Hey, come on now. Go hit him by the so samples will go to first with one away. And here comes Russ Wiggs to the plate. Wiggs, he walked his first time up. So a runner at first with one away. This one's swinging at a miss, strike one. Sardis coming off a win over Southside on Friday, 6-5. to five. They'll be back in action Thursday. They play host to Alexandria, the Valley Cubs. Of course, they're from Etowah County. Throw back over to first, not in time. One ball, one strike to Wiggs. <laughs> Morrison eyes in, delivers the 1-1, one -one. runner's going. The throw over to second, got him. Out number two. Great job that time. Elmore to Sargent as they get samples out. And the count is one and two. To Russ Wiggs. The third baseman. This one goes in for a ball, two and two. Vikings trying to make quick work here in the third inning. Morrison delivers. Here's a chopper foul. Count remains. Two balls, two strikes. With two away. Morrison. Again with a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, just missed three and two. So a full count here. With two away, Morrison quickly back to work. Looks in. And time is called by Wiggs. He'll step out of the box. Now here comes the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. So the Vikings get out of the top of the third. Your score, Sardis three. Jasper 2. We'll be back with the bottom half of the third after this 92nd time out. Hello, my name is Ike Baker. I'm a surgeon here in Jasper. Um, I've been using Pinnacle Bank since I came here after residency, and I really enjoyed the uh, local decision making here and have enjoyed our relationship. I'm Mike Wigington, principal at HL Wigington Capital Management, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. Hi, I'm Drew Gilbert, managing partner at Tallulah Brewing Company, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Dr. Amanda Darty, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, Chairman of the Board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too.
Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. We welcome you back to Valley Park Vikings trail it 3-2. We're heading to the bottom of the third inning. Viking baseball presented by Pinnacle Bank. And here comes Spencer Rosenfeld to the plate. Rosenfeld, he was hit by a pitch his first time up in the first inning. See what Rosenfeld can do here to lead things off in the third. This one is in for a strike. One and oh, or excuse me, oh and one. Gilliland quickly. This one is going to go foul down the third baseline. Oh and two now the count to Rosenfeld. Gilliland delivers. This one's high, and he chases after it and fouls it off into the dugout over there. So Rosenfeld awaits the 0-2. Gilliland. This one's low, 1-2. One and two. One, two count. Here's the wine, the delivery, swing and a miss to Rosenfeld for out number one. That'll bring up Cachopio. Second strikeout of the game for Gilliland. Let's see if Cachopio has better luck here. He fly it out as he led things off in the second inning. The pitch. One out for a ball, one and home. One oh coming up. Swung and missed. One and one to count. One one delivering. This one's gonna be in for a ball two and one. Gilliland quickly back to work high. Three and one. Sardis with two runs in the first, one in the top of the second, and the Vikings with two in the bottom of the second in this ball game to make it three two. Swing and a miss. Cachopio. Full count down. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Swung on and hit into center. Carroll is there for out number two. And that brings up Morrison, who really got things rolling for us here in the second inning with a home run to left field. Got the scoring going for the Vikings. Let's see what Morrison can do here at the plate. Here's the first pitch. In for a strike, 0 and 1. Dawkins is on deck. The 0-1 coming up to Morrison. Swing and a miss, strike two. Come on, try to do too much. Dawkins tracks it down here, just below us. 
0-2 pitch coming up to Morrison. Here it is. Swung on and hit sharply into left center. And he's going to check up at first. So a single from Morrison, and that brings up Dawkins. Coming up number 55, Dawkins. Dawkins to the plate with a runner at first. Two away, though. By the way, the junior varsity led things off at 430. They got the win 11 to 3. Dawkins with a single already in the game. This one's hit sharply. This one's going to go out of play to the uh, to our left here. Over toward the batting cages. Oh and one the count to Dawkins now. Dawkins will step in and swing and a miss. Or excuse me, fouls it off. Oh and two the count, Big Dawkins. Morrison's at first, but we have two away here. In the bottom of the third. Vikings trail at 3-2. Dawkins awaits the 0-2. The throw back over to first, not in time. As Morrison slides in safely. Gilliland delivers high to Dawkins. One and two. Dalton a senior. Runner going. This one's high. The throw to second is not going to be in time. And Morrison will slide safely into second. As the pitch went high anyway from Gilliland and the Tarvin, of course, behind the plate. No chance at that. Two and two the count. This one is outside. And just like that, Dawkins was behind on the count. Now it's full three and two. Gilliland delivers with two away. The payoff, this one is hit hard and high, a mile high. And the left fielder, Thornton, comes over to make the play for out number three. So the Vikings leave one on base. 3-2 your score. We're heading to the top of the fourth three, inning when we return three, to more Viking baseball presented by Pinnacle Bank after this 90-second timeout. Looking for a taste of Old Mexico? Stop and see the Pedraza family and the friendly staff at Los Reyes Grill. With two locations in Walker County, on the square in historic downtown Jasper and Highway 78 in Summerton. Serving your favorite authentic Mexican cuisine seven days a week. Call ahead for your to-go orders. In Jasper, phone 387-0086 or Summerton at 648-2600. Los Reyes Grill, Jasper and Summerton. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Martin Roberts, owner of Jasper Veterinary Clinic. Three years ago when I set out to open my own clinic, Pinnacle was my bank of choice to help that dream become a reality. Recently when we needed to expand and had the opportunity to acquire property adjoining to ours, I made one call to Wayne and he set those wheels in motion. If you have banking needs, give Pinnacle a call. Hello everyone, I'm Drake McKenzie from All South Land and Timber. We've been banking with Pinnacle Bank for over 25 years. The customer service at Pinnacle Bank is first class. We highly recommend banking with Pinnacle Bank for all of your financial needs. I'm Robin Reed Allen, Chairman of the Board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. Back at Valley Park, where the Vikings trail at 3-2, top of the fourth inning coming up. And let's see, we got a new pitcher out on the mound for the Vikings. That'll be Jarrett Morrison, 
the sophomore, the brother of the senior, Tyler. And at the plate is going to be Case Martin. So for one this afternoon. And here's the first pitch from Morrison. It's going to be outside for a ball, 1-0. Morrison looks in, winds, delivers, there's a strike right down the middle. One on one the count. One one from Morrison's gonna be low for a ball. Two and one. So his brother went three innings, now he's in. Tyler gets the start. Jarrett now out on the mound. Swing and a miss. Strike two, two and two the count. Here's the delivery to Martin. Oh, count is now full, three and two. Payoff pitch from Morrison. Here it is. High for a ball. And Martin will take a base. And here comes Luke Weems. Weems, one for one. He singled in the second. So a runner at first with nobody out here. Sherrod Morris sit on the mound. He's showing bunt, lays it down. Foul. <laughs> Trying to push that runner over to second here in the top of the fourth. Vikings definitely looking for it. McGinnis along the third baseline for the Vikes. The 0-1, now he'll swing at this one and miss for a strike, 0-2. Oh Morrison looks in, runner takes his lead at first. Morrison checks over, gives him the look, and now delivers. This one's high and back into the woods. 0-2 oh the count. Flag at center field. No action out there, no wind here this evening. Cooled off quite a bit here at Valley Park. The 0-2 pitch coming up from Morrison. Here it is, swing and a miss, struck him out, throw back over to first. Did they get him? No. But, out number one, but a great throw over from Elmore. Behind the plate, now threw it over to Dawkins at there. first, but Carter. could not get him tagged out. So, here comes uh, Derek Tarvin to the plate. <laughs> Throw back over to first. Not in time. There's a strength from Morrison. Owen won the count. Tarvin grounded out in the second inning. Be nice if the Vikings could get two here on a double. This one's in for a ball, one and one. Good crowd here and Valley Park. JV got things started at uh, 4.30. They won 11 to three. Swing and a miss, strike two. Morrison looking for his second strikeout in a row. 
One two pitch coming up. There it is. Oh, call it ball. Two and two. Two and two the count. Morrison looks over to first, delivers the 2 2. This one's hit sky high. Dawkins backpedaling. He's not going to make the play, though, as Sargent comes over for out number two. And we're at the bottom of the order now to Ty Glass. He grounded out in the second with two away and a runner at first. Morrison looks over toward first. Runner takes his lead. Here's the pitch. And for a ball, one and home. Ty Glass. He is the shortstop. And he will take another ball, 2-0. Oh. We are in the top of the fourth here at Valley Park. Runner going, swung on, and belted foul. Two and one the countdown. Runner will trot back over to first. Morrison eyes in. The pitch going to be fouled back. Two and two, the countdown. So let's see if the Vikings can get out of the top of the fourth here. Morrison with a 2 2 pitch coming up. Here it is, swung on, hit sharply into center. Rosenfeld, it's going to go over Rosenfeld's head. Runner will ro roll past third, and he will score. It's now 4-2 to two with a stand-up double RBI. Went over the head of Rosenfeld in left center, and Sardis now has a 4-2 lead. That one hurts. So the runner at second will take his lead. We're back to the top of the order in Carroll. Morrison. There's the ball, 1-0. Oh. Glass over at second, taking his lead. 1-0 coming up. Morrison delivers. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One and one to count. Vikings trailing this one 4-2 to a very good 5A squad out of Etowah County. There's a ball, two and one. Tyler Morrison started the ball game, went three innings. Jared Morrison on the mound now. This one swung on, and this one is hit. And Rosenfeld is going to make the catch. Great catch there from the center fielder for out number three. But another run scores. It's Sardis four, Jasper two. We're heading to the bottom of the fourth, and we'll be back after this 90-second timeout. Hi, I'm Mason Boren with Twisted Barley Brewing Company in downtown Jasper, and I do all my banking with Pinnacle Bank.
Hi, my name is Sean Doss from the Cigar Box and Goatee Screen Printing downtown Jasper, and my bank is Pinnacle Bank. I'm Mike Wigington, principal at H.L. Wigington Capital Management, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, chairman of the board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank, too. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. And we're back at Valley Park, where the Vikings trail at 4-2 here. Gilliland still on the mound. Leading off the fourth. Four. Number three, Garrett Morrison. Sardis, and leading off will be Jared Morrison. Swung on, hit over to short, and he's not going to be able to get him out at first. What a, that was a tough throw for the shortstop over there, Glass, but a great play by Morrison. And here comes Cole Sargent. And we're at the bottom of the order and Cole Sargent throw over to first. Safe. 4 2 your score. Tying run at the plate. Cole Sargent. Throw back over to first. Not in time. Sargent, one for one. He singled in the second. And Gillen delivers the ball. 1 0. Morrison takes his lead at first. The 1 0 pitch in for a strike. 1 and 1. Huh? 1 1 pitch coming up. Nope. Go throw over to first. Morrison slides in safely. Sergeant. Awaiting the 1-1, one, one, swung on and hit back into the woods. One and two, the count. Throw back over to first. Morrison slides in safely. Keeping an eye on Morrison over there. One, two, coming up to Sergeant. Gilliland looks in. Delivers, swung on, and hit. In the show. Did he make that catch? Yes, he did. Wow. Mm. Out number one as Carroll makes the catch in center. Nice play. And we're back to the top of the order in Aiden Payne. Flying out in the first, walked in the second. Let's see if he can get things going here in the bottom of the fourth. Nope. Throw to first, nope. <laughs> Keep a check on him over there. Here's the pitch and Payne lays down the bunt. 
He, the throw to first, no, it gets past the first baseman. And here comes Morrison to third. Oh, Payne is going to second, and he will make it. Second and third with one away here. And Payne laid that bunt down beautifully, and with his speed, made it to first in plenty of time, but the pitcher, Gilliland, was in a big hurry. And he made an Aaron throw over to first, and that results in runners at second and third for McGinnis. Prime opportunity for the Vikings. Tying runs at second. Swing and a miss for strike one. McGinnis. With one away, Morrison takes his lead at third. You have Payne over at second. McGinnis awaiting the 0-1. Gilliland winds, delivers. This is outside for a ball, one and one. One one pitch. Oh, that's called strike one and two. McGinnis. Awaiting the one two. And that is going to sell in for a ball. Evens up the count down two and two. Vikings are down 4-2 here in the bottom of the fourth. Tying run and standing is second. Oh, and that one hits. McGinnis. Hi. And uh, now the up is coming out to talk to Gilliland. So now the bases are loaded. For Elmore. Loads the bases for number 15, Connor Elmore. So let's see what Elmore can do here. He grounded out in first, flied out in the second. One away, bases are loaded. Prime opportunity for the black and gold. This one's going to go high. One and oh, the count. Gilliland, eyes in. There's a strike. One and one, the count. One one pitch coming up from Gilliland here in the bottom of the fourth. Swung on. Hit over to first. Throw to the plate. He's safe. Safe at home. And the Vikings score a run. It's 4 3. And the bases are loaded again. Here comes Rosenfeld to the plate. Ballard will come out. He'll be running at first. So let's see what Rosenfeld can do here at the plate. One away here in the bottom of the fourth. Vikings down by a run. The bases are loaded. Swung on and hit sharply into left field and it's over the head of Thornton. One run will score. Two runs will score. The throw to third. Spitzer is safe at third.
the Vikings lead five to four. Wow. Vikings with their first lead of the ball game. And we have a meeting of the minds on the mound. Wow. I was about to say, I thought it may be six to four. And it is the run added to the scoreboard. Vikings lead by two runs here in the bottom of the fourth now. And Valley Park has come alive here. Oh my goodness. What a hit from Rosenfeld. So, we're gonna have a new pitcher. We're gonna take a break. Two minute break. We'll be back with more Viking baseball presented by Pinnacle Bank in just a moment. Looking for a taste of old Mexico? Stop and see the Pedraza family and the friendly staff at Los Reyes Grill with two locations in Walker County on the square in historic downtown Jasper and Highway 78 in Summerton. Serving your favorite authentic Mexican cuisine seven days a week. Call ahead for your to-go orders in Jasper phone 387-0086 or Summerton at 648-2600. Los Reyes Grill, Jasper and Summerton. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Martin Roberts, owner of Jasper Veterinary Clinic. Three years ago when I set out to open my own clinic, Pinnacle was my bank of choice to help that dream become a reality. Recently when we needed to expand and had the opportunity to acquire property adjoining to ours, I made one call to Wayne and he set those wheels in motion. If you have banking needs, give Pinnacle a call. Hello everyone, I'm Drake McKenzie from All South Land and Timber. We've been banking with Pinnacle Bank for over 25 years. The customer service at Pinnacle Bank is first class. We highly recommend banking with Pinnacle Bank for all of your financial needs. I'm Robin Reed Allen, Chairman of the Board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. Welcome back to Valley Park. We got a new pitcher on the mound now for Sardis, and he delivers a strike to Cachopio. Cachopio 0 for 2 here as uh, Felter is the pitcher. He's going to put down the bunt right into the glove of the pitcher and the throw over to third as Rosenfeld was coming home for out number three. But the Vikings claim the lead. It's six to four here as we head to the top of the fifth. We'll be back to Valley Park right after this. Looking for a taste of Old Mexico? Stop and see the Pedraza family and the friendly staff at Los Reyes Grill. With two locations in Walker County, on the square in historic downtown Jasper and Highway 78 in Summerton. Serving your favorite authentic Mexican cuisine seven days a week. Call ahead for your to-go orders. In Jasper, phone 387-0086 or Summerton at 648-2600. Los Reyes Grill, Jasper and Summerton. Hi, I'm Mason Boren with Twisted Barley Brewing Company in downtown Jasper, and I do all my banking with Pinnacle Bank. Hi, my name is Sean Doss from the Cigar Box and Goatee Screen Printing downtown Jasper, and my bank is Pinnacle Bank. I'm Mike Wigington, principal at HL Wigington Capital Management, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, chairman of the board of Pinnacle Bank. 
Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. Welcome back to Valley Park in Jasper 6-4. Your score, Vikings lead it here. In the top of the fifth, here's the 1-0, -oh, swung on, 1-1 one one the count. And at the plate now is Trey Thornton. He's 0-2 for 2 here this evening. One one coming up from Morrison. Here it is. That is in there for a ball two and one the count. Two one. Jared Morrison. Hey, let's go. No free pass. To Thornton. In front of the ball. Three and one. Vikings with a big bottom of the fourth inning to take the lead 6-4, their first lead of the ball game. Sardis, they won't go away quietly, though. There's a strike. Full count now, three balls, two strikes. Morrison, the payoff pitch, swung on, found back. Stays alive here. Thornton does at the plate. Three and two, the count. <laughs> Payoff pitch from Morrison. Here it is. Swung on. Head over to short. Payne makes the play over to Dawkins for out number one. Great job by him. Payne and Dawkins that time for out number one. And that will bring up Carson Gilliland. Gilliland. Just a sophomore. Pops it up. And the catcher, Elmore. Oh, he lost it. Almost had it, but uh, did not come up with the ball. But good effort that time. What away. To Gilliland. Gilliland had a pretty good afternoon on the mound and then lost it there in the fourth. Gilliland. A six-foot, 180-pound sophomore. Here's a chopper back to the mound. Morrison Fields tosses to first for out number two of the inning. Two up, two down. And here comes Brody Samples. Samples singled in the first. He was hit by a pitch in the third. And here's a strike, 0 and 1. Samples awaits the 0 1. This one's a low, 1 and 1. This one's chopped back over to short. Payne fields out number three as he throws over to Dawkins. 6 4 your score, and we're heading to the bottom of the fifth. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out, 
or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. Hi, I'm Mason Boren with Twisted Barley Brewing Company in downtown Jasper, and I do all my banking with Pinnacle Bank. Hi, my name is Sean Doss from the Cigar Box and Goatee Screen Printing downtown Jasper, and my bank is Pinnacle Bank. I'm Mike Wigington, principal at HL Wigington Capital Management, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, chairman of the board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. Tyler Barnes is going to lead things off as we are in the bottom of the fifth inning here in Jasper at Valley Park. This one's high from Felter. 1-0 oh the count. Bottom of the fifth inning here. And the Vikings have come roaring back. Swung on and hit hard and high into center. Carroll. Oh, it's going to drop in front of him for a single. So Morrison with a single, and this brings up Dawkins now. That'll bring up number 55, Dalton Big Duck Dawkins. Dawkins. See what he can do at the plate. Six four, your score. Morrison takes his lead at first, and this one's belted by Dawkins into left. They're going to make the play, though. That is Thornton, and the runner will quickly go back to first. That's out number one. And now, one away, one on. That'll bring up number three, Jarrett. Morrison. Jarrett Morrison will be your next batter. Singled last <laughs> inning. Got everything started for the black and gold rally in the fourth. His brothers at first. Throw over to first, not in time. The line, the delivery, going to be high for a ball, 1-0. One away here in the bottom of the fifth. Felter looks over. Delivers the 1 0. Runner going. This one is going to be fouled back. So Morrison will come back to first. He got a jump on it. And uh, that'll even up. One and one. One one pitch coming up from Felter. This is going to be swung on and hit. To the right fielder in right center field makes the play. The throw back over to first, not in time, but out number two. Out number two. And now we're at the bottom of the order in Cole Sargent.
Sargent at the plate. Singled in the second. Fly it out there in the fourth. This one's going in for a strike. Owen won the count. We're in the bottom of the fifth inning here in Jasper at Valley Park. <laughs> Runner going. Throw to second, not in time. Morrison standing up there at second. And the count is one and one to Sargent. Cole would like love nothing better than to drive Morrison in from second. Here's the hit into left. Oh, he dropped it. And Morrison's going to round third. And he's safe at home. And the Vikings extend their lead. It's seven to four as Thornton had to make a running catch and just could not come up with the baseball that time. Bring up number one. So Sargent with an RBI single. And we're back to the top of the lineup, Baden Payne. With a runner at first and two away. The Vikings offense came alive there in the bottom of the fourth. Throw over to first. Sargent will slide in. Vikings scored two in the bottom of the second, four in the bottom of the fourth, and now they've scored one here in the bottom of the fifth. Throw back over to first. Sergeant slides back in. Felter on the mound. Eyes into Payne, who is at the plate. Runner going. They're going to throw to second. Not in time. Sergeant slides at second. They tried to check him over at first. Sargent was already gone, and he made the dive into second base safely. Sargent will take the lead there in second down. Felter, eyes over at him. And Payne awaiting the pitch. Up, oh, steps off. Payne. Patiently waiting for the first pitch here from Felter. They're concerned about Sargent now at second. This one is out. Oh, in for a strike. Owen won the count. Mm. So, the 0 1 to Payne. Here it is. This one is outside for a ball, one and one. Two away here in the bottom of the fifth. Sargent takes his lead at second. Whoop. Slides back into second as the pitcher steps off. Felter. One one count to Aiden Payne, a shortstop. He's going to take a strike, one and two. Hey, he's got to cross the plate. Oh, That's wide line to wide line. One and two now to Payne. Swung on and fouled back. Payne stays alive. Count remains one and two. Got Bama basketball coming up Friday for you on the radio. Two o'clock airtime. Bama in the big dance. Let's see how they can disappoint us this time. <laughs> Maybe not. How about a 3.30 tip-off, I believe. But two o'clock firm airtime as this one goes high to pain. Two and two. Vikings added a run here in the bottom of the fifth inning to make it seven to four. Right 
Eyes in. This one swung on. Payne fouls it back again. Staying alive. Two and two. The count. Felter eyes in. Looks over towards second now. Well, once again. Man, they're just concerned about Sargent there at second. 2-2 two -two pitch coming up from Felter. Pain awaiting. Here it is. And this one's going to go outside. Full count, three and two. Payne flied out in the first, walked in the second, singled in the fourth. Payoff pitch coming up from Felter with two away. Swung on and hit sharply into center, but all oh, the play is made for out number three as Carroll makes the play to end the inning. We're heading to the six. Your score, Viking seven, Sardis four. We'll be back after this 90-second timeout. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Martin Roberts, owner of Jasper Veterinary Clinic. Three years ago when I set out to open my own clinic, Pinnacle was my bank of choice to help that dream become a reality. Recently when we needed to expand and had the opportunity to acquire property adjoining to ours, I made one call to Wayne and he set those wheels in motion. If you have banking needs, give Pinnacle a call. Hello everyone, I'm Drake McKenzie from All South Land and Timber. We've been banking with Pinnacle Bank for over 25 years. The customer service at Pinnacle Bank is first class. We highly recommend banking with Pinnacle Bank for all of your financial needs. I'm Robin Reed Allen, Chairman of the Board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. Looking for a taste of Old Mexico? Stop and see the Pedraza family and the friendly staff at Los Reyes Grill. With two locations in Walker County, on the square in historic downtown Jasper and Highway 78 in Summerton. Serving your favorite authentic Mexican cuisine seven days a week. Call ahead for your to-go orders. In Jasper, phone 387-0086 or Summerton at 648-2600. Los Reyes Grill, Jasper and Summerton. We are in the top of the sixth inning. And the pitch coming up from Morrison. And for ball, one and one the count. Russ Wiggs, your batter. He tries to lay down a bunt, it goes foul, one and two. Lions went three up and three down in the fifth. Vikings would love to see the same result here in the sixth. Wiggs, Martin, and Weems. So we'll see here in the sixth. This one's popped up. And this one will go over the fence and out of play. One and two, the count now to uh, Wiggs. Morrison winds, delivers, swung on, hit sharply. It's going to drop into right. And so a leadoff single for Wiggs to start out the six, and that'll bring up Case Martin. Batting number 21. So one on with nobody out here in the top of the six. Vikings have won eight out of their last nine ball games. 
Looking to lay down the bunt. It's going to go foul, 0-1. Martin trying to push Wiggs over to second. Yo one coming up from Morrison. Trying to lay down the bunt again, they will. Elmore fields the throw to Dawkins in time for out number one. Runner advances to second. So Wiggs will be at second, and here comes Luke Weems. No, excuse me. This will be 18. Levi Martin, the 5'11 senior. So Martin will be at the plate here. Runner takes his lead over at second. Morrison delivers, swing and a miss, strike one. With one away here. Vikings lead it seven to four in the top of the six. Morrison looks in and delivers a ball one and one. Vikings uh, supposed to be back in action tomorrow. We are expecting some rain though, so we'll play that by ear. May reschedule that thing for Wednesday. Here's the one one low, two and one the count. Hey, come get a peanut. Vikings are scheduled to play Haleyville tomorrow at Haleyville on Thursday. Friday back home against Cordoba. Play the Blue Devils. The 2-1 swung on, foul. 2-2 two two the count. So a busy week for the Vikings. Defeated Dora the other night. Friday 6-3 the last game for the Black and Gold. 2-2 two two Morrison. With a pitch coming up. Swing and a miss. Throw over to first. And the runner will advance over to third. So, two away. And now to the plate will be, let's see, 33. Derek Tarbin. The... Uh, catcher, 0 for 2 here this afternoon. So let's see what Morrison can do here with a runner at third. And now Coach Ware looks like is going to signal in Spencer Rosenfeld. So we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have more Viking baseball. We're in the top of the sixth inning. Back with more Viking baseball presented by Pinnacle Bank. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. Hello, my name is Ike Baker. I'm a surgeon here in Jasper. Um, I've been using Pinnacle Bank since I came here after residency, and I've really enjoyed the uh, local decision-making here and have enjoyed our relationship. I'm Mike Wigginton, principal at HL Wigginton Capital Management, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. Hi, I'm Drew Gilbert, managing partner at Tallulah Brewing Company, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Dr. Amanda Darty, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, chairman of the board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank, too.
Looking for a taste of Old Mexico? Stop and see the Pedraza family and the friendly staff at Los Reyes Grill. With two locations in Walker County, on the square in historic downtown Jasper and Highway 78 in Summerton. Serving your favorite authentic Mexican cuisine seven days a week. Call ahead for your to-go orders. In Jasper, phone 387-0086 or Summerton at 648-2600. Los Reyes Grill, Jasper and Summerton. Welcome back to Valley Park, where Spencer Rosenfeld will be on the mound. And his first pitch is in for a ball, 1-0. Tarvin at the plate. Rosenfeld trying to close things out here for the Vikings, and there is a strike. 1-1 one one the count. Plan on having the Vikings tomorrow afternoon as well. If we play, of course, it's supposed to rain most of the day tomorrow, so who knows? We'll play it by air. So 1 1 from Rosenfeld, and that's a ball, 2 and 1. 7 4 your score. Jasper on top. Rosenfeld delivers. Gets away momentarily from Elmore. It's a ball three and one, but the runner will stay at third. Rosenfeld with a three one. He walked it. So. Now batting with number nine, number 19, Glass. Here's Ty Glass. Bottom of the lineup here. And now the catcher will come out and talk with Rosenfeld. I right, gets his uh, glove from him. Seven four your score. Rosenfeld with a Pitch coming up. Swung on, fouled. Runners on the corners here. What's the count here? 0 and 1. Runners takes their lead at the corners. 0 1 count coming up from Rosenfeld. Oop, 0-2, Rosenfeld. Caught him looking. Two away here in the top of the six. Rosenfeld trying to get us out of this. Tying run at the plate. Rosenfeld delivers. Outside for a ball, two and two. Two two from Rosenfeld. Here it is. It's going to be swung on. Hit over to third. Throw over to first. In time for out number three. We're heading to the bottom of the six. The Vikings still lead seven four. We'll be back with more Viking baseball presented by Pinnacle Bank in just a moment. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Martin Roberts, owner of Jasper Veterinary Clinic. Three years ago when I set out to open my own clinic, Pinnacle was my bank of choice to help that dream become a reality. Recently when we needed to expand and had the opportunity to acquire property adjoining to ours, I made one call to Wayne and he set those wheels in motion. If you have banking needs, give Pinnacle a call. Hello everyone, I'm Drake McKenzie from All South Land and Timber. We've been banking with Pinnacle Bank for over 25 years. The customer service at Pinnacle Bank is first class. We highly recommend banking with Pinnacle Bank for all of your financial needs. I'm Robin Reed Allen, Chairman of the Board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, 
Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. We welcome you back to Valley Park here. Vikings lead at 7-4 as we head to the bottom of the sixth inning. And let's see, do we have a new picture on the mound? Let's see, 19 is out there. And that is Ty Glass will be on the mound. So Glass will be the third pitcher of the night. Uh, so, here comes Aiden McGinnis. Got McGinnis, Elmore, and Rosenfeld for the black and gold here. In the bottom of the six, Vikings trying to hold on for another win here. Got time now, we're ready to go. Glass on the mound, his first pitch on the way. That's a ball, 1-0. Vikings and the Lions here from Valley Park. The 1-0 from Glass. Swing and a miss for McGinnis. Evens the count now. One ball, one strike. One one. McGinnis takes a strike. One and two. One, two, here it is. Outside for a ball, two and two. McGinnis awaits. Swung on, hit sharply, foul. McGinnis with a single in the first. Walked in the second, was hit by a pitch in the fourth. Vikings lead by three, seven to four here from Valley Park. Swung on, choppers, got to get in the gap. A single for McGinnis to lead things off. And it'll bring up Connor Elmore. Number 15, Connor Elmore. Here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Vikings looking to add some insurance runs here. At the plate, Elmore, let's see. Grounded out in the first, flight out in the second. And an RBI single in the fourth. And there's a strike. 0-1 oh the count. Glass, the pitcher, the 0-1. There's a strike, 0-2. Oh Caught Elmore looking. Runner takes his lead at first. That is McGinnis. Nobody out here at the bottom of the six. Glass with the 0-2. Swung on, hit foul. Stays alive, 0-2. Oh right yeah, 
Yeah, there's definitely a uh, huge gap here in right center. Swung on, here's a chopper over to short. Or excuse me, over to the third baseman who will throw it over to second for the first out. And here comes Ballard. Out to run. Here's Spencer Rosenfeld. Hit by a pitch in the first, struck out in the third, and then hit a shot in the fourth to drive in three runs. One away here in the bottom of the six. Swung on, fouled back. To our right here in the trees of Valley Park. Glass going to throw over to first, not in time. I'm going to rain tomorrow, so they may reschedule that game with Haleyville for Wednesday. Not sure. We'll play it by air here. Runner going throw is going to be high and slide again safely at second runner at second with only one away Spencer Rosenfeld facing the one and one straight up eight o'clock here WJ Alex Jasper And there's the ball, two and one. Glass, the two one pitch. Nope. Taking a look over towards second here. Spencer Rosenfeld looking to repeat what he did in the fourth man he had a shot to left went over the left fielder's head Thornton drove in three runs he that was a triple there for him there's a ball three and one Spencer awaits the three one from glass the third pitcher of the night for the Lions is a ball and Spencer Rosenfeld will take a base on balls. And here comes Cachopio. And let's see what Cross can do here with the Vikings leading 7-4. Runners at first and second and only one away. Here's the pitch. And for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Glass looks over towards second. This one's going to get away from the catcher, and the runners will advance to third and to second. It's that one that gets away from Tarvin behind the plate. So runners at second and third now with only one away. Cachopio. 0 for 3 this afternoon. Takes it inside for a ball. 3 and 0 the count. They may load the bases here with one away. That one's high, and yes, they will load the bases. So after a couple of walks, this is going to bring up Morrison. Tyler Morrison. Who, by the way, hit a homer in the second. Now they will have a meeting here at the mound to talk things over with Glass in the uh, bottom half of the sixth inning. 
Vikings lead it 7-4, to four, and only one away. The bases are loaded. So, let's see what they decide to do. Let's take a break. 30 seconds. We'll be back with more Viking baseball in a moment. And we welcome you back here. Glass will deliver another ball. 1-0 the count. And he's in some trouble here with the bases loaded and only one away. The Vikings lead by three. Morrison's already went yard in the ball game. This one swung on, fouled back, 1-1 one one the count. Dawkins retrieves the foul ball here. One one swung on and hit, and it's going to get down in center. One run will score, and the Vikings extend their lead. It's now eight to four, and the Vikings still have the bases loaded with only one away. And here comes big Dalton Dawkins. Kid's a great athlete. Playing at the next level, gonna play football. And he's gonna take one high for a ball, one at home. So, you have Morrison at first, Cachopio's over at second, Rosenfeld is at third. And the Vikings lead by four, eight to four. Looking to add to it here in the bottom of the six. Dawkins takes a strike, one and one. Dawkins awaiting the one, one. Runners take their lead. This one's high. Two and one. Glass having a tough time on the mound for the Lions. Two one pitch coming up. Dawkins swings and fouls it back into the netting here. Two and two. <laughs> Dawkins just really wanting to get a piece of one here. Two, two. Glass. Wines, delivers, swung on, hit. Foul. So, Dawkins stays alive, two and two here with one away. <laughs> Dawkins at the plate here. Ooh, this one. Oh, called strike three. Two away here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Bases are loaded. And here comes Jared Morrison. So let's see what Jared can do here. He's singled and he's flying out. Two away here in the bottom of the sixth. This one is high for a ball. One and one and oh. 
Sardis, the Lions, seven and five. They've won six out of their last seven ball games. Defeated Southside six to five on Friday. Compete in five A area thirteen. This one is fouled back into the netting. One and one, the count. And now. Morrison awaits. The bases are loaded. The 1-1 one, one is going to go in for a ball 2-1. and one. Two, one coming up to Morrison. This one is hit high, sky high. And this one's going to go foul. Get your hands working, bodies. Let's go. Battle right here. Counter means two balls, two strikes. Two two coming up from Glass, trying to work out of a huge jam here as the bases are loaded for the Vikings. Swung on, fouled back two and two. Keep it up, Peanut. Peanut, battle now. Hey, do a job. Vikings lead it eight to four here in the bottom of the sixth at Valley Park. Swing and a miss, strike three. And the Vikings leave three on the base. But they had another run. 8-4 your score. And we're heading to the top of the seventh. We'll be back after this 90-second timeout. Looking for a taste of Old Mexico? Stop and see the Pedraza family and the friendly staff at Los Reyes Grill. With two locations in Walker County, on the square in historic downtown Jasper and Highway 78 in Summerton. Serving your favorite authentic Mexican cuisine seven days a week. Call ahead for your to-go orders. In Jasper, phone 387-0086 or Summerton at 648-2600. Los Reyes Grill, Jasper and Summerton. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. Welcome back to Valley Park. Spencer Rosenfeld trying to get us out of here for the night. Three outs away from another Viking victory. And the first one is in for a ball. One at home. Landon Carroll, the batter. One and one, the count. Rosenfeld, yep, trying to close things out here for the Vikings tonight. Vikings lead now 8 to 4. Lefty at the plate here. Rosenfeld with a 1 1. Mm. Just missed. 2 and 1 the count. Two one coming up, swing and a miss. Strike two. So Landon Carroll 
We had a triple, by the way, in the second. Rosenfeld, the 2 2. Full count down, three and two. Payoff coming in from Spencer. Eyes in, Rosenfeld, payoff pitch. Swung on, hit sky high, foul. Right behind us here. And Rosenfeld will eye in again and look to deliver the payoff. Oh, they walked him. Mm. Oh, my goodness. So. Carroll. We'll take an ace, and Thornton will be at the plate. Fly down the first and second, grounded out in the fifth. Rosenfeld and company trying to get out of here tonight. Yes, sir. There is a strike right down the middle, 0-1. Oh so As a second pitch, you just struck that kid out on blue. Rosenfeld. The 0-1. This one's going to get away from Elmore. And the runner will advance over to second base. Carroll will be safe at second. So a runner at second with nobody out. And the 1-1 count coming up here. Rosenfeld set to deliver to Trey Thornton. Swung on and hit past Dawkins. This one will roll in the right, and a run will score. It is eight to five. So an RBI single for Thornton with nobody out. And now Thornton will be at first and up to the plate, Carson Gilliland. Who had, by the way, a single in the first, but he's grounded out twice since then. Be nice if he would ground out into a double play here. This one's high from Rosenfeld, 1-0. Oh. Rosenfeld again. The 1-0. Oh. High and over the head of Elmore. Runner will advance to second. 2-0 oh, the count from Rosenfeld. And once again, the runner at second with nobody out. Vikings lead it eight to five. But the tying run is on deck. Gilliland awaiting the 2-0 from Rosenfeld. High again. 3-0. And you hear the life coming out of the Lions dugout over here. As they're trying to rally here in the seventh. High from Rosenfeld again. He walked him. Runners at first and second. And the tying run is at the plate. And here comes Coach Ware out to the mound, and it may be a ball game for Rosenfeld. We will step aside. Coach Ware going to make the change at the mound. We'll be back after this two-minute timeout. You're tuned to Viking Baseball, presented by Pinnacle Bank on WJLX.
Hi, I'm Mason Boren with Twisted Barley Brewing Company in downtown Jasper, and I do all my banking with Pinnacle Bank. Hi, my name is Sean Doss from the Cigar Box and Goatee Screen Printing downtown Jasper, and my bank is Pinnacle Bank. I'm Mike Wigginton, principal at HL Wigginton Capital Management, and Pinnacle Bank is my bank. I'm Robin Reed Allen, chairman of the board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. Looking for a taste of Old Mexico? Stop and see the Pedraza family and the friendly staff at Los Reyes Grill. With two locations in Walker County, on the square in historic downtown Jasper and Highway 78 in Summerton. Serving your favorite authentic Mexican cuisine seven days a week. Call ahead for your to-go orders. In Jasper, phone 387-0086 or Summerton at 648-2600. Los Reyes Grill, Jasper and Summerton. Eight to five, your score. Jasper on top of the Sardis Lions, and the new pitcher will be Aiden McGinnis on the mound for the black and gold. We welcome you back. McGinnis still warming up here on the mound. Boy, I tell you, maybe he can close things out for the Vikings. At uh, the plate is uh, Carson, or excuse me, uh, uh, Gilliland is at first, excuse me. Uh, Thornton is at second at the plate now. Number four, Brody Samples. He singled in the first, was hit by a pitch in the third, grounded out in the fifth. Did you hear the Lions behind us here? This one going to get away from Elmore, but he comes back up with it here. No harm done. McGinnis on the mound for the Vikings. Runners at first and second. McGinnis eyes in. Nobody out here in the top of the seventh. Vikings three outs away from a victory. And this one is in for ball two. Duo to Samples. McGinnis delivers. There's a strike. Two and one. Eight five your score. Tying run though at the plate. Two one. Make it 3-1. McGinnis. Vikings trying <laughs> to get out of Alley Park with a win over a very pesky Sardis team. These guys are pretty good. Like I mentioned earlier, they're 7-5, and five, but they've won six out of their last seven games. Payoff. No, oh, the 3 ones in for a strike. 3-2 and two, the count now. So, full count. 3-2 coming up. McGinnis trying to get the first out of the inning. Swung on. Chopper to first. Dawkins throws to second. Got him. For out number one. Runners on the corners now with one away. Good job by Dawkins. 
Get the easy out over at second. Four out number one. And that'll bring up Wiggs now. This one is hammered in the center. And now that's out number two. Rosenfeld makes the play. Runners tag. They don't go anywhere. So now the Vikings are one away. One out away from a victory here. Vikings one out away from a victory here. Two away for Martin. There's a strike. Owen won the count. McGinnis, the fourth Viking pitcher of the night. Vikings lead at eight to five. This one's in for a ball, one and one. One, one, swung on, fouled back. I think it tipped Elmore. He's okay. One and two, the count to the Vikings are a strike away from a victory. Fire check it with everyone. Everyone's okay. And McGinnis is back on the mound. Dawkins strots back over to first. Runners on the corners, two away. Top of the seventh. McGinnis looks in. The one, two. To Martin. Got him! And the Vikings win it. And that's your final. <laughs> that is the final score. The Vikings win it here at Valley Park. Eight to five. Your score. The Vikings victorious once again. And we'll be back in action tomorrow night against Haleyville. And we'll be here for that game as well. Until then, I'm Brett Elmore saying good night from Valley Park where the Vikings win it by a final score of eight to five.